Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to rescue your skin. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to take you on a little outing that I did this weekend out in nature and where I needed to rescue my soul. It's been kind of a rough month for me personally, and my skin's been a little bit out of whack. And I have four products here that I'm going to share with you that have helped me get my skin back on track in one way or another. The I'm going to have two that I'm going to show you for a daytime routine, and then two more that I wanna share with you that I think work a little bit better at night. So let's get into rescuing your skin. I don't know about you, but my skin is always misbehaving for one reason or another, and I really enjoy having some moisturizers that I can count on to kind of help my skin get back on track. And so I'm gonna share with you four that I've been trying out. And your skin can get like irritated and need a rescue for so many different reasons, either environmental or manual, like you got a, you have a cold and you've been rubbing your eyes or you've been rubbing your nose and it's been running. So many different reasons that our skin can get out of control. I took a medication this month that really broke up my skin because it was extra sun sensitive. You can also have acne breakouts that really need extra help. So I wanna go through these four moisturizers that I've been trying and kind of give you you a clue on how they could be helpful for your skincare routine and how they can fit into helping you rescue your skin. So the first one that I used actually in this morning's routine is the Microbiome Rescue Daily Moisturizer by Stacked Skincare. I really like this moisturizer. In a full disclosure, I was given this um, in PR, but I really like this moisturizer because it's fairly thin. It really sits well under makeup. It sinks right into my skin. Like I said, I can layer it over makeup without any pilling or any trouble. And usually you would wanna use a moisturizer sort of after your lighter lotions or serums and before any skin oils that you might be using. But I really appreciate this one because it has the prebiotics that are so kind of in, in, the, in the news these days in skincare, kind of one of those skincare trends. So the prebiotic in this one is chicory root. And it also has the, I'm gonna read it here because I can never pronounce this particular antioxidant. It's called astaxanthin. And astaxanthin is a great, one of the more popular antioxidants they're using in skincare these days. And this has both the prebiotics and this amazing antioxidant. So I use it in the morning as kind of a protecting skin barrier, occlusive moisturizer, but it's, like I said, it's very light, it sits great under my makeup, and I don't have to worry about it pilling, and also I can put, easily put a sunscreen over it without any worries at all. So that, this Stacked Skin Care Microbiome Daily Rescue Moisturizer has been really nice, and I know I get a little bit of antioxidant protection, and I'm gonna be getting some of those prebiotics. Prebiotics are gonna help feed and replenish my skin. So I've really been enjoying this. It also has a really nice ceramide complex in it with uh, lipids and that helps minimize redness and irritation. One of the base oils in this that I really like is squalene. That's one of my favorite facial oils that that are in moisturizers and that's one of the second second or third ingredients. So I've been really liking this on a daily basis for moisturize, moisturizing my skin and protecting it throughout the day. The second favorite I've been using in my morning skincare routine is the Dew Instant Angel. This is a very new moisturizer that came out. This also came in PR. I was, it was very kindly gifted to me, gifted to me by Dew. It's called their Instant Angels. And I call, it, call this a marshmallow coating for the skin. I've been really enjoying this. Also sits amazingly well under makeup and it's so fluffy. I don't know how to, else to describe it, but it's this, just this fluffy, amazing moisturizer. Let me get a little bit closer and you can see it. And it, it just melts down into this beautiful, silky feeling, but it goes in and it sinks into my skin. And also I've just been amazed how it sits under makeup and under SPF. It just sinks right in. But let's talk about some of its ingredients. It has sodium PCA, which is a great humectant moisturizer. It has glycerin, urea, a little bit of lactic acid for moisturizing. It also has peptides. It's just chock full of amazing skin loving ingredients. And I love it for a daytime moisturizer. But if you're wanting something that's a little bit lighter, I would go with the Stacked Microbiome Rescue. If you have acne prone skin or slightly oily skin and your skin is kind of on the irritated and needing some help, I would go with this one. It's a little bit lighter than the Instant Angels Marshmallow Fluff. So of the two daytime moisturizers, I'm gonna have to make a choice between these two daytime moisturizers. I would go with this if you're a little bit more oily and acne prone, and I would go with this one if you're a little bit more dry and sort of maybe combination skin. 
All right, let's move on to some nighttime moisturizers that I've been enjoying. I'm going to first talk about Jordan Samuel's new moisture recovery cream. This also was received in PR and I'm going to be comparing it to the Skin Fix Barrier Plus. Now these are both excellent moisturizers, but I don't like them during the day. They're too heavy, especially the Jordan Samuels tends to pill a little bit under my makeup. So I would rather use this at night, but I had some very dry cracked skin around my nose this week and I did a side by side. This one compared to Instant Angels overnight, this one took cook, took care of my crack, the cracked skin around my nose like nobody's business. I was so impressed with this. And the reason is it's a little bit on the heavier side and I'm not really sure what ingredient kind of makes it more occlusive, but it does have, it has squalene, which is one of my faves, like I said. And I think it, I think the ceramides and the shea butter just make it that much thicker that this doesn't sit super well under makeup. In all fairness to this product, I probably use too much. As you can see, the density of the shea butter makes this a very, very thick moisturizer, and I probably use too much under my SPF and under my makeup. I recommend if you're going to use this during the daytime, start with a pea-sized or even a half pea-sized amount because the density of the shea butter probably caused my SPF SPF and my makeup to pill. But this is an excellent moisturizer. Like I said, the shea butter does make it difficult to work with under products, so definitely scale back if you're going to be using it during the day. But makes a great overnight recovery cream. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is the Skin Barrier Fix Plus. I was turned on to this because of all the marketing. This is supposed to be like the proteiny and better than the peptide night dermatology overnight cream. I have to say it didn't quite beat out either of those for me, uh, both because it's on the little bit of the pricier side. These are all about 1.7 ounces and similar prices. I'll go through that kind of at the end. Um, but this triple lipid has a triple lipid peptide cream. So it does have the peptides for humectant and it pops out of the top and gives you the exact dose for your face, which I agree, it's the exact amount for your face. And it's a little bit, I would say slightly lighter than the Jordan Samuel recovery cream. I'll give you a little test of this one. So the Jordan Samuel is, I would say, a little bit thicker. But if I was comparing them, you cannot tell once they melt down, the textures are identical. I wore these side by side on my hands I think it was yesterday and could not tell the difference. Love them both. They were both great barrier repair creams and I would highly recommend either one of them for an overnight barrier repair. I don't recommend either one of these during the daytime because they just don't sit as well as I would like under my SPF and under my makeup. So those are my four recovery creams that I wanted to share with your moisturizers and kind of the reasons why I would choose one in the day, one at night. And I also wanna just quickly review the cost of each of them. So they're all about 1.7 ounces, 1.6 ounces. And it's really interesting how they can, we've got three tubes and a pot. This one comes with the refill. It is about $52 and the retail or the refill is about $42. The Dew is about $45. This comes in an aluminum can and it also has this really awesome key that you can use to get every little drop out. You just slip it over the end and dial it down and you can get every little drop out and then you can use the key again for any other aluminum tool tube that you have a product and so I love that about it and you can also opt out of the key if you're repurchasing so that's also handy you don't have to stock up on the keys if you don't need them and Jordan Samuel is the bargain of the bunch it's only $34 for the same 1.6 1.7 ounces and like I said this is the best overnight cream that I've used in ages like literally healed the cracked skin along my nose overnight totally impressed with these and like I said for bang for your buck the Jordan Samuel is your pick so thanks for joining me for this quick little video on the four moisturizers I've been using to rescue my skin this month. And I also wanted just to take you on a little outing that we did to kind of rescue our souls also. We went on a little family outing out in nature just to do something a little bit different, refill our emotional buckets, and I thought you might enjoy going along. Take good care, everybody, and have a wonderful week. Bye!